determine f prime of x and f prime of pi divided by three, given f of x equals sine to the fifth x. So the first thing we should do to make this easier to differentiate is to rewrite sine to the fifth x as the fifth power of sine x. In this form, we can much more easily see that the inner function is sine x, which we often refer to as u, and the outer function is the power function. So if we let u equal sine x, when applying the chain rule, we will need to determine u prime, or du dx, which is equal to the derivative of sine x with respect to x, which is cosine x. So we can just think of f of x as the function u to the fifth, apply the power rule of differentiation with the chain rule. Looking at our notes on the right, the derivative of u to the power of n with respect to x is equal to n times u to the power of n minus one times u prime, which indicates that f prime of x is equal to five u to the fourth times u prime, but of course we want the derivative in terms of x, which gives us five times the fourth power of sine x times cosine x. Let's go ahead and rewrite this as f prime of x equals five cosine x times sine to the fourth x. So this is our derivative function. And now we need to determine f prime of pi divided by three or f prime of one third pi radians. F prime of pi divided by three is equal to five times cosine of pi divided by three times sine to the fourth of pi divided by three. And pi divided by three should remind us of a 30, 60, 90 reference triangle. Where we can label the short leg one, the hypotenuse two, and the longer leg square root three. Pi divided by three is this angle here. The cosine pi divided by three is equal to the ratio of the adjacent side to the hypotenuse, which is one half, which gives us five times one half times and now we need to find the sine of pi divided by three, which is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse, which is square root three divided by two. But because we have sine to the fourth pi divided by three, we have the fourth power of square root three divided by two. Simplifying here, we have five times one half times the fourth power of the square root of three is equal to nine and the fourth power of two is equal to 16. So the fourth power of square root three divided by two is equal to nine sixteenths. Multiplying, in the numerator we have five times one times nine, which is 45. In the denominator we have two times 16, which is 32. F prime of pi divided by three equals 45 30 seconds. I hope you found this helpful.